Hi, today we're gonna clip Rambler's nails. I have my quick stop powder here, you know, just in case we bleed, no big deal. And uh, my sturdy, trusty nail clippers. So I'm gonna start with Rambler on the table. Rambler is a good boy. He doesn't like it very much, but uh, he knows that he can trust me. So, can you put him in? Hey, Rambo. Say hi, I wish we had a squeaky toy. Rambo! We're going to walk? Mary, can you um, come up close and sure. uh, show a uh, close up of his nails? Mm -hmm. And uh, explain what you're doing. Rambo. You're going to separate them. Thing. Yeah, in cutting the nails, Rambo's nails, I can see a little bit of where the pink is. Got really close to the nail, to okay. the quick. And um, in doing the front, Rambo doesn't have dew claws, uh, rear dew claws. He has front dew claws. Mm -hmm. So when I get to the front, I want to especially want to do the dew claw because the dew claw that undeveloped toe that sits up high on the uh, on, on the foot um, since it doesn't make contact with the ground sometimes the dew claw tends to grow longer than the regular claws uh, in Rambo's case I have been keeping them in check and it's not very very long uh, so we're in good shape it's going well. After I trim all of them, I like to go back and check because if I if I make a nail bleed, sometimes it won't bleed right away and it will bleed after. So when I'm done with this last foot, I will uh, check for any kinds of uh, bleeding and address the problem. Good job, Rambo. You want to trim your dog's nails at, at a regular basis because as the dog gets old, um, they tend to develop arthritis and if they have really long nails, um, it can be painful for them when they walk. might have caught a little bit of the last let's see I didn't I got super close can you can I show something real sure. close here Mary um, this now I got very close to it you can see the difference in color like mm -hmm. this is a more solid almost pink mm -hmm. and I thought I got this now I had a little bit of powder and I would apply this powder onto the bleeding area. In this case, not necessary, but it's good that I'm showing you how to address, you know, the bleeding. And the powder would stop. In case it wouldn't, you just pinch a little more, apply right onto the bleeding surface, and uh, it would just go away. So thank you very much. Bye-bye. Yeah.